So in this video, uh, let us discuss about the case study for the SaaS implementation for the uh, e-learning platform. So uh, we have five points to discuss today. So the first one will be project overview, challenges, data flow diagram, the apps used, and finally we will also have a demo. Talking about the project overview, basically our client's vision was to create an e-learning platform with extra features and provide it as a subscription-based product to the end users. This requires a SaaS-based implementation of our software. So each end user gets their own e-commerce platform where they can sell and manage their courses additionally. We also provide them with marketing and CRM features. We also enhanced the UI UX of Odoo modules to make the platform more user friendly. So the technologies which we uh, used was starting from Odoo, uh, CSS, AWS, EC2, JS and Python. This is basically for uh, the e-learning platform, which is the education industry. Let's go to the next point. Talk about the challenges which we uh, faced. The client uh, wants us to uh, provide uh, separate uh, instances for end users. So uh, the end users can have a, a separate uh, Odoo database where they can uh, uh, configure everything uh, on their own with our uh, assistant. The client also uh, wanted to implement a subscription feature for e-learning courses. Right now, uh, the Odoo e-learning uh, does not have a, a subscription uh, feature, so we have customized this. And the client was also not happy with the Odoo backend UI. The client wanted to enhance the uh, UI and the server maintenance was also critical to manage all the instances as continuous monitoring uh, and scaling of the server is uh, required. The client also wants to provide multiple dynamic templates for e-learning courses. The client also wants to rebrand Odoo and create a new brand of our own. Let's now talk about the uh, data flow diagram. So uh, starting with the uh, SaaS menu, basically we have a SaaS plan created in the uh, backend. So uh, this SaaS plan is linked with an uh, e-commerce product which is displayed on the uh, website. So the user comes to the website, he adds the uh, SaaS plan to his uh, cart and he purchases and makes a payment for it. So this will be basically a subscription based uh, uh, product. So uh, once he makes a payment for it, uh, he will be uh, receiving an invoice email and uh, he will also be redirected to a domain creation page where he has to input uh, the uh, domain name. And once he inputs the proper uh, domain name and uh, submits the domain name, a SaaS contract gets generated uh, for the client and uh, he also gets redirected to a page which says uh, his instance is successfully created and he also receives an email for uh, a reset password and he also receives a link through which he can connect to his own instance which he purchased now and uh, ultimately his database now exists and through which he can uh, perform now let's uh, look at the apps uh, which we will be providing to each uh, client uh, instance basically the uh, end user end users database so the end user purchasing the uh, SaaS plan from the website uh, will receive a separate uh, database so that database will contain all of these modules like discuss contact crm sales invoicing website e-commerce e-learning marketing event service forum blogs website live chat marketing etc so uh, we have also like uh, done additional customizations to improve the UI and also uh, we have added features to all of these modules. So let's now go through the demo. So this is the website. Like I have already logged in as a portal user in this uh, website. I click on this. It will take me to the uh, product page. Right now I have just added a, a dummy e-commerce product and now I will buy now. Click on buy now. It will take me to the cart page and now I will process checkout confirm order. This will now uh, take me to the uh, subdomain page where I need to enter the uh, domain name. I will give a test domain name. Select and continue. After the uh, creation of the uh, instance, it will uh, show me a success message where it says the instance successfully uh, created and it also uh, gives me the uh, link to the uh, to my uh, portal where I can uh, check the details of my uh, SaaS contract through this link and uh, at this point of time I would have also uh, received an uh, email for my reset password email will also contain the link to my domain I opened up the link which was sent to my uh, email after the uh, SaaS instance creation I'm now giving a password so uh, if you see this so this is my uh, 
instance this is the instance which i which got created for me after i purchased the saas plan so i can now perform my own operations on this instance now